people sending messages now saying hello and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's huge. I don't like, they mm. love it. They absolutely love it. It's very different over there, Married at First yeah. Sight. The, the show yeah. is constructed and produced really differently. Um, yeah. And so I think they just love the drama that we get over here. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you, um, when you put all these young single people in a fishbowl um, and call it a, um, Oh, in lock, quarantine lockdown over COVID and you call it a marriage, oh, my God, you're going to get the drama, aren't you? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and I think, you know, like, I mean, we'll, look, we'll, we'll talk a lot about the show and your experience, but really want to talk about, obviously, your new show here on Bondi Radio because we're yeah. so excited and super proud. Um, <laughs> me and you, we've been working behind the scenes, as you do, for a little while. Ooh, yeah. um, to put this show together, and your first interview was with Dan from the show. Yeah, with Daniel Holmes. It's been absolutely amazing. I've I've loved the opportunity to actually have those conversations with people, and I know a lot of people consider um, Dan a villain of the show, but like I had a different perspective of this guy. I when I met him, I didn't see that side of him. Um, I'm not glorifying anything, and I'm not trying to explain anything, but I think like the part. The point of the show is to actually delve a little bit deeper into the, you know, the psychology of these people. How did they become the way that they did? Like, what, where, what journey in life got them to where they are now? And I feel it's really important as people and as human beings, we understand that about our fellow humans before we sort of like rush to judgment. So yeah, yeah it, was, it was an amazing conversation I had with Daniel. He really opened up and he really um, showed yeah. a he really well, did. Been I have, I been Yay! <laughs> my my cat's walking around somewhere. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, I um, I just I, I mean I'm really grateful to Dan. I think you know yeah. that, like you said, all these shows um do somehow have a villain character, yeah. and not necessarily all people are going to agree with what actually happened on the show. However, um, even with the interview with you, he really stepped up and just, just called to spade to spade. He just literally said it as it was. Open, and like you said, you know, we always forget. I mean, I've worked, you know me, I've worked in TV for like 20 odd years. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I've been a casting producer on some of these shows. So I I understand that process that, you know, People aren't what you see on the screen, you know? Absolutely. Like, there's elements of us, and it is produced. Um, yeah, and, like, we're, we're putting them in situations that you can't prepare for. So, essentially, like, with myself, like, they tell you before they start rolling the cameras all this stuff, but there's no actual hindsight that you can buy. You can't buy a bottle of, like, you know, like, instant celebrity, drink it, and know how to react or know how how angry this is going to be so like dan as as we spoke about in the interview and we went really deep dan um when he was with jess we could see on the screen there wasn't much fire behind him but like when he was with carolina there was a whole bunch of fire behind him and i, I really i found that interesting that like when, when he found his person or when he found somebody to fight with or fight for then all of a sudden he became the person that we all hated but before yeah. we saw this vulnerable person I didn't see that other side of Dan and it was really important to me to have that conversation with him and to open it up so like other people out there kind of get that perspective. And of course there was also, you know, as you say, casting, you would have seen Daniel and you would have said like, he's a typical young bodybuilder, good looking dude. Yeah. He, he'll, he'll have a certain appeal. Yes. Yeah. But there's more behind that human than just that person. And I feel like with Dan really opened up and really showed a side of him that we wouldn't have seen on the show. I totally agree. And that's why I really appreciate him actually doing the interview, um, you know, and feeling safe enough because he knows you, like, you you know, he's been on that show with you. Uh, yeah. To also talk about not just all of the show and all this relationship stuff, but actually a lot of the stuff that's happened in his past that yeah. some people might hide or not want to talk about and he really opened up about it he was just completely honest about it well he was he was really um reflective and that was quite um quite inspiring because a lot of the times when you talk to people in these positions and i've been there and i've seen it 
they're still sort of pointing the fingers, this person, yeah, well, this person, this, and this person, that. Whereas yeah. with Dan, there wasn't any pointing of the fingers. It was a very clear realisation of where he'd been yeah. and where he is now. So there was like a perspective there. And I know, like, you know, there's still like little spot fires going here and there with him and, you know, my fellow cast members, which, you know, I'm sure eventually will sort themselves out. And I hope that they do for everybody, everybody's yeah. sake because, you know, the show is not on anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The war is over, <laughs> but yeah, he 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 really he really showed a different side of himself. And like, and as a young guy, you know, young men out there like sort of like struggling with the body image issues, he really came alive when he started talking about like you know substance abuse in his family, and him subsequently turning to this addiction with um, the steroids, yeah. and how he built this self image of himself up. And how he realised it wasn't healthy and it wasn't just something that, you know, like he learnt overnight. He was, we talk about it more in the interview, which you can listen to after this, but like the, the perspective the guy has, the accountability he has for himself, yeah. I found just refreshing. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. In fact, I, um, I wanted to talk to him after the interview because, as you know, you know, I've worked with young people for, you know, 10 years um, along mm -hmm. working in the media and it's so important to have people like him who are in the spotlight, who've had some kind of spotlight, whatever that may be, talk about this kind of stuff because it happens. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I started to teach um, uh, about the media and body image, it was always to girls and there is a lot, there is a lot of pressure on women and but there was a lot of discussions in the public eye around that for women, not so much with men, not as much yeah. with men talking about like yeah, steroids, yeah. gym, you know, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Like and girls, girls, yeah, girls. If you really, 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 really liked this video, please click on the like button as well as the subscribe button so you can be notified of more videos like these.